Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an incredibly special video for you. We're going to dive into the 9 crucial steps to building unshakable self-confidence. Whether you're just starting your journey to better self-esteem or you're looking for new strategies to take your confidence to the next level, this video is for you. So sit back, grab something to take notes with, and let's get started. Self-acceptance. Self-acceptance is a fundamental part of self-confidence and overall well-being. It involves recognizing and accepting all aspects of oneself, including our strengths, weaknesses, successes, failures, missteps, and triumphs. Here are some key points to deepen the understanding of self-acceptance. Understand your uniqueness, every individual is unique, with their own strengths, weaknesses, experiences, and perspectives. It's important to recognize and appreciate this uniqueness, rather than comparing oneself to others or belittling oneself. Accept your mistakes and weaknesses, no one is perfect. We all have flaws and weaknesses, and that's okay. Instead of feeling ashamed or hiding these aspects, accept them as part of who you are. You can always work on improving in certain areas, but that doesn't mean you're less valuable because you're not perfect. Appreciate your strengths and successes, just as important as accepting your weaknesses is acknowledging your strengths and successes. Be proud of what you've achieved and the strengths you possess. This recognition can boost your self-confidence and help you appreciate yourself more. Practice self-compassion, be kind to yourself, especially during difficult times or when you make mistakes. Speak to yourself as you would to a good friend. This can help reduce self-criticism and negative self-talk, which are often barriers to self-acceptance. Live authentically, try to always be authentic and live your truth. This means accepting and expressing your feelings, thoughts, and desires, rather than trying to hide or change them to please others. Practice mindfulness. Mindfulness can help you develop more self-acceptance by learning to be present in the current moment and observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment. Self-acceptance is a lifelong process, and there can be ups and downs. It's important to be patient with yourself and recognize that self-acceptance doesn't mean you're always happy or satisfied with yourself, but that you acknowledge and appreciate yourself in all your complexities. Positive self-talk. Positive self-talk is a powerful technique that can help strengthen self-confidence, reduce stress, and promote a more optimistic outlook. Here are some key points to deepen the concept of positive self-talk. Understand the power of words. Our thoughts and words have a significant impact on our feelings and actions. Negative self-talk can damage our self-image and lead to feelings of self-doubt and insecurity. Positive self-talk, on the other hand, can strengthen our self-image and encourage us to take on challenges and achieve our goals. Replace negative thoughts with positive ones. When you notice yourself engaging in negative self-talk, try to replace these thoughts with positive ones. For example, instead of saying, I can't do this, say, I will do my best. Use positive affirmations. Positive affirmations are statements that you can use to promote positive thoughts and feelings. You could say something like, I am strong and capable, or I deserve happiness and success. Repeat these affirmations regularly, especially during stressful or challenging times. Be realistic. Positive self-talk doesn't mean you should ignore or deny when things are not going well. It's about promoting a more optimistic and constructive outlook. Instead of saying, everything is terrible, you could say, this is a difficult situation, but I can handle it. Practice regularly. Positive self-talk is a skill that can be improved over time and with practice. Try to take time each day to engage in positive self-talk and make it a regular part of your routine. Use visualizations, imagine yourself being successful or overcoming challenges. These visualizations can reinforce your positive self-talk and help you develop a stronger sense of self-confidence and self-efficacy. Positive self-talk can be a powerful technique to strengthen your self-confidence and promote a more positive attitude. However, it's important to note that positive self-talk can't solve all problems, and it's okay to seek professional help if you're struggling with severe self-doubts or negative thoughts. Setting Realistic Goals 
Setting realistic goals is an important step in building self-confidence and achieving personal and professional success. Here are some points to deepen the concept of setting realistic goals. Understand your abilities and limits. Before setting a goal, it's important to have a clear understanding of your abilities, resources, and limits. This can help you set goals that are challenging but achievable. Set specific and measurable goals. A good goal should be specific and measurable. Instead of saying, I want to get in better shape, you could say, I want to lose 5 kilograms in the next 3 months. Set time-bound goals. A goal should have a clearly defined end date. This can help you stay motivated and track progress. Set achievable goals. A goal should be challenging, but it should also be achievable. If you set a goal that's too far out of your reach, you might feel overwhelmed or discouraged. Set relevant goals. A goal should be relevant to your long-term plans and ambitions. If a goal doesn't align with your long-term goals, it might be hard to maintain the motivation to achieve it. Review and adjust your goals. It's important to regularly review your goals and adjust them as needed. If you find that a goal is too easy or too difficult, or if your priorities change, don't hesitate to adjust your goal accordingly. Celebrate small victories. Every step you make towards your goal is a success and should be celebrated. This can help you stay motivated and boost your self-confidence. Setting realistic goals is a continuous process that requires self-reflection, planning, and adjustment. However, it's a powerful technique that can help you build self-confidence, improve your skills, and realize your dreams. Physical Fitness Physical fitness is a crucial aspect of overall health and well-being and can also have a significant impact on self-confidence. Here are some points to deepen the concept of physical fitness. Improving physical health, regular physical activity can help lower the risk of many health problems, including heart disease, diabetes, and certain types of cancer. It can also help control weight and improve bone health. Boosting self-confidence, physical fitness can help boost self-confidence. Seeing what your body can achieve and how it improves with regular exercise can help foster a stronger sense of self-worth and self-confidence. Improving mental health, physical activity can also help improve mental health. It can help reduce stress, improve mood, and alleviate symptoms of anxiety and depression. Improving sleep quality, regular physical activity can help improve sleep quality, which in turn can help improve overall health and well-being. Setting and achieving goals, physical fitness often involves setting and achieving goals, such as walking a certain number of steps per day or reaching a certain time for an exercise. Achieving these goals can help boost self-confidence and foster a sense of self-efficacy. Social connection, many forms of physical activity can also foster social connections, such as team sports or exercise groups. These social connections can help strengthen feelings of belonging and self-confidence. It's important to note that physical fitness looks different for everyone and that there are many different types of physical activity that can contribute to fitness. It's important to find activities that you enjoy and that fit with your lifestyle and abilities. It's always a good idea to speak with a doctor before starting a new fitness program, especially if you have health concerns. Learning and growth. Learning and growth are central aspects of personal development and can have a significant impact on self-confidence. Here are some points to deepen the concept of learning and growth. Lifelong learning. In a constantly changing world, lifelong learning is crucial. It allows us to keep up with new developments, acquire new skills, and deepen our understanding of the world around us. Skill development. Learning new skills or deepening existing skills can boost self-confidence. It can help us feel more competent and confident in our abilities. Embracing challenges. Embracing and overcoming challenges is an important part of learning and growth. It can help us push our boundaries, improve our skills, and strengthen our self-confidence. Viewing mistakes as learning opportunities. Mistakes are a natural and inevitable part of the learning process. Instead of viewing them as failures, we can view them as learning opportunities that help us grow and improve. Openness to new experiences, being open to new experiences can foster learning and growth. 
It can help us discover new perspectives, expand our comfort zone, and deepen our understanding of the world. Reflection and self-awareness. Reflection is an important part of the learning process. It allows us to think about our experiences, deepen our understanding, and gain insights that can guide our future learning and growth. Mentorship and learning from others. We can learn a lot by learning from others, whether through formal mentoring relationships, by observing and learning from peers, friends, or family members, or by reading and learning from the experiences and insights of others. Learning and growth are lifelong processes that strengthen our self-confidence, improve our skills, and help us reach our full potential. It's important to maintain an open and curious attitude, view challenges as learning opportunities, and take time for reflection and self-awareness. Dealing with failures. Dealing with failures is an important aspect of personal growth and developing self-confidence. Here are some points to deepen the concept of dealing with failures. Viewing failures as learning opportunities, every failure offers a chance to learn something new. Instead of viewing failures as final defeats, consider them as opportunities to grow and improve. Developing resilience. Resilience is the ability to recover from setbacks and keep going despite challenges. It's a skill that can be developed over time and through experience. Practicing self-compassion. Be kind to yourself when you experience a failure. Self-criticism can undermine self-confidence and make it harder to recover from setbacks. Setting realistic expectations. Nobody is perfect, and everyone makes mistakes. It's important to have realistic expectations of yourself and to accept that failures are a normal part of life. Seeking support. If you're struggling with a failure, don't hesitate to seek support. This can come from friends, family, mentors, or professional counselors. They can provide valuable perspectives and advice. Reflecting and adjusting, after a failure, it's helpful to take a step back and reflect. What can you learn from the experience? What would you do differently next time? This reflection can help you adjust and improve in the future. Staying motivated, failures can be discouraging, but it's important to stay motivated. Remember your long-term goals and why they're important to you. Use failures as motivation to work harder and improve. Failures are an inevitable part of life, and dealing with them in a healthy and constructive way can strengthen self-confidence and promote personal growth. It's important to view failures as learning opportunities, practice self-compassion, and seek support when you need it. Self-care. Self-care is an important aspect of overall well-being and can have a significant impact on self-confidence. Here are some points to deepen the concept of self-care. Physical self-care. This involves activities that help maintain or improve physical health, such as eating a healthy diet, regular exercise, getting enough sleep, and regular medical checkups. Emotional self-care. This involves activities that help promote emotional well-being such as time for relaxation and leisure, expressing feelings, building positive relationships, and seeking support when needed. Mental self-care, this involves activities that help promote mental health, such as stress management techniques, positive self-talk, mindfulness exercises, and mental challenges. Social self-care, this involves activities that help foster positive social relationships, such as spending time with loved ones, seeking support from others, and setting healthy boundaries in relationships. Spiritual self-care, this involves activities that help find a sense of purpose and meaning in life, such as meditation, prayer, experiences in nature, or volunteering. Professional self-care, this involves activities that help promote job satisfaction and growth, such as setting professional goals, seeking mentoring or continuing education, and finding a balance between work and leisure. Self-care is an individual process, and what works for one person may not work for another. It's important to find activities that are meaningful and fulfilling to you and that fit with your lifestyle and needs. It's also important to remember that self-care is not selfish, it's a necessary practice to maintain your health and well-being and to be able to care for others. Social relationships. Social relationships play a crucial role in our lives and can have a significant impact on our self-confidence and overall well-being. Here are some points to deepen the concept of social relationships. 
Support Network, a strong network of friends, family, and colleagues can support us in difficult times and help us tackle challenges. They can also encourage us to try new things and affirm us in our efforts. Mutual respect, in healthy social relationships, mutual respect is paramount. Everyone has the right to express their opinions and feelings, and these are respected by others. Communication, open and honest communication is key to strong social relationships. It's important to be both good listeners and clear, direct speakers. Setting boundaries, it's important to set boundaries in our social relationships. This can mean saying no when we feel overwhelmed or withdrawing from situations that make us uncomfortable. Shared activities, shared activities can help strengthen social bonds and forge new friendships. This could be something like a shared hobby, a sports team, or a volunteer group. Empathy and understanding. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings and perspectives of others. It's an important skill in social relationships and can help create deep and meaningful connections. Conflict resolution. Conflicts are inevitable in social relationships, but it's important that they're resolved in a healthy and constructive way. This can mean taking the time to understand the other person's perspective and seeking compromises that are acceptable to both sides. Social relationships are an important aspect of our lives and can have a major impact on our self-confidence and our overall well-being. It's important to invest time and energy in building and maintaining healthy social relationships. Mindfulness and Meditation Mindfulness and meditation are powerful practices that can help strengthen self-confidence and improve overall well-being. Here are some points to deepen the concept of mindfulness and meditation. Mindfulness. Mindfulness means being fully present in the current moment and observing your thoughts, feelings, and physical sensations without judgment. It can help you reduce stress, better regulate your emotions, and develop a deeper understanding of yourself. Meditation. Meditation is a practice often used to promote mindfulness. There are many different forms of meditation, but most involve some kind of focus, like the breath, and the goal of calming the mind. Benefits for self-confidence. Mindfulness and meditation can help strengthen self-confidence by helping you recognize and change negative thought patterns, develop more self-acceptance, and focus more on your strengths and positive qualities. Health benefits. In addition to the benefits for self-confidence, mindfulness and meditation can also have a range of health benefits, such as improving sleep quality, reducing stress and anxiety, improving concentration, and even strengthening the immune system. Regular practice, as with any skill, the more you practice mindfulness and meditation, the better you'll get at it. It can be helpful to establish a regular practice, such as meditating for a few minutes every morning or evening. Mindfulness in everyday life, in addition to formal meditation, you can also try to integrate mindfulness into your everyday life by focusing on the present moment and consciously performing activities like eating, walking, or even breathing. Mindfulness and meditation are powerful tools that can help you strengthen your self-confidence, reduce stress, and develop a deeper understanding and acceptance of yourself. It's important to find a practice that works for you and that you can perform regularly. That's it for our video today, folks. We hope you found these 9 steps to building unshakable self-confidence helpful. Remember, confidence doesn't come overnight. It takes time, patience, and most importantly, practice. But with these strategies in your toolkit, you're well on your way to becoming a stronger, more confident you. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and advice. Until next time, stay confident and remember, you're incredible just the way you are.